we got lots of stuff to talk about today, guys. Mm. Uh, we're going to talk about the SI, about SIA cancelling the recent flights to nowhere. And there's also going to be the cruises to nowhere. I mean, everything is about going nowhere. Yeah? Yeah, that's a um, very popular destination. <laughs> and there's also about this interesting bit in Parliament where just only discovered how things are tabled, topics are tabled in Parliament. And then finally, we're going to talk about this guy who had this relationship with a Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters. So we're going to end the show with that story. I'm not going to talk so much about that now. Let everyone wonder about that. But hey, everybody, and welcome to this edition of In Our Humble Opinion. Ayo! Ayo. And with me, with me, I have Daisy Irani, and I have Gilbert Chia. And I am the mouth of the south and the beast of the east, Chris Hansen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris Hansen. Oh, yeah, here we go again. <laughs> yes. Absolutely not handsome. Anyways, let's start the show with the first story. And that would be SIA. They, remember guys, they started this thing about flights to nowhere. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it in one of our episodes earlier on, remember? Yes. Yes. And then we gave some suggestions as well. Yes. And you know what? Some of my suggestions is really happening, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm uh -huh. sure it was because of you, Chris. Oh, absolutely. I, but they I, didn't take I think my, not, though. The revenue-making one. So. <laughs> Which one? The gambling on... on, on oh, on. boy. That's I don't will go know. to the cruise. Yeah. I'm a good cruise. boy. That's right, yes. <laughs> I'm a good yeah. boy. I don't talk about these kind yeah. of things, like gambling and all that. You know, I leave it to the adults to talk about these kind of things. Uh, but in any case, um, when we look at uh, how SQ has just, you know, changed the minds... And they've got this, and it's been going around in social feeds today, especially. Uh, and this is about their, um, their coming on board their A380 and choosing which cabin class they want to go to and having this meals, first class meals served to them. Mm -hmm. And it could also be served on delivery yes. with a private chef that's going to come and heat up the food and serve it. Wait, wait. How, does a chef come or they just send it to you? No. I, they, they can have the option as well of having a private chef yeah, as come over city. to the okay. home. Yeah. And, business class. Yeah. So and, basically, they're going to take the business class meals or first class meals mm -hmm. and deliver it to your house yeah. mm -hmm. and serve you there. That's yeah. one option. Yes. And the other option basically is for you to go on board the plane that is stationary. Not just any plane, mate. It's the A380. The A380. Mm -hmm. And then to be served the meal there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, in, in whichever the cabin class you want. Is the takeaway. The, yeah. The takeaway. Okay. You know, it's interesting. Um, first of all, I'm glad they cancelled the flight to nowhere. Even though they did explain that the kind of carbon credits that they have and the amount of carbon they were using uh, would be very little compared to the regular flight, and that it, it you know, that 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 was what the one rationale for it. I I still think it's unnecessary, and. Friends of mine have told me they actually are going through withdrawal right now. That they said that they would so gladly get on a plane going nowhere. Really? They said, seriously. And this guy was not joking. He wasn't being facetious. He was actually serious. He said that it's something in my system. I miss that so much that mm -hmm. I would love to just get on a plane. Mm -hmm. And for example, they said, you know, they can go to, without having to land, they would fly to, for example, from Australia or New Zealand to the South Pole to look at the Aurora Borealis lights mm. and then go back. You don't even have to get off the plane, but you would have a travel experience. So that's something to be said there because I think that we may think this is ridiculous, you know, mm. but we don't have that kind of connection with flying that many people have. You're talking about people who log maybe a million miles a year in travel. Oh, yes. Yes. The Man's only re that. The only reason why I feel of that friend of yours, I'm not disrespecting him, yeah, but that friend of yours feels like you know, I would do anything to get back on a plane mm -hmm. and fly. I mean, a person who's got that much, you know, who've, who've really accumulated so much flyer mileage probably would be flying more often than not on business class. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. you go. There of course, go. yes, yes. For them, flying is a pleasurable experience. Yes. And I can tell you definitely, you know, I lived 20 years in the US and for 20 years, I flew back and forth between Boston, New York and Singapore on economy, on, you, oh, I better not say, no, United Airlines. <laughs> That's fine. Which is horrible. <laughs> 
Look, I, I, I just want to say. So I know it's not a pleasurable experience. True. But if you fly Singapore Airlines okay. business class or first class, you're lucky yes. enough. Yes. That's different. I had a friend who said that when he flew for the first time, he had always flown United and flown economy. The first time he flew to London on business class on Singapore Airlines, when he arrived in London, he didn't want to get, get off the plane. Singapore Airlines has been the brand ambassador for Singapore. And yes. Everybody over the world knows Singapore Airlines. So I'm really happy to see that during these tough times, they are being proactive. Yes, and Coming yes. up with ideas. But you know, I feel this experience can be enhanced a lot more. Like, for example, what you were talking about, your friend who loves flying and wants yes. to just go yeah. and come back. Yeah. I just think that maybe you're in the restaurant and then you have like a day where this is the flight going to Japan. And then once you go to the restaurant when the flight is going to Japan... When you talk about the restaurant, you're talking about the experience on the plane. Yes, yes. Okay. So I'm just saying, imagine that everything is Japanese and, and there's a, a... You know, so by the time you finish getting out of the restaurant, you mm. really felt maybe that you've gone to Japan. Or, you know, you're going to Italy and, and the food and maybe a documentary or a travel... But you travel. know, part of the reason why people want to do this is so they can experience the airline food... Yeah. Which is odd, I have to say. No, no, yeah. no. But Although Chris, I have to say that Singapore uh, uh, Airlines food for business clearly, class is good. Yes. But Chris rightly pointed out that this is a mystery to people who have often flown economy. And I have to say that for most of my life, I flew economy. But when you do fly business class, oh, and you're lucky satay. enough. That, yeah, the satay. I just mentioned and, the satay yes, exactly. and the food. No, yes, no, I tell you exactly. what. It's very, very, very cleverly the food is designed the truth. And they make you feel like you're so special. Yes. Okay. That so that experience is yes. A so good you know what idea. what we were talking about earlier, and this is uh, interesting, is the offer of four hundred and how much is it, Chris? Four hundred ninety-eight dollars. Ninety-eight dollars for the ten-course meal. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know people were online were saying, "Oh, this is crazy expensive." But let's let's break this down, okay? Yeah. It's a meal for two. Mm. It includes. Two bottles of sake and a bottle of wine. And 10 courses. And 10 courses. So it comes to about... Um, $200. $200. Per head. Per, per, plus, per, because 490 is about 500 yeah. So 250 per head, you know. And actually, if you were to go to a really good restaurant and have two bottles of sake and a bottle of wine and a 10-course meal, it would come to about that. Or maybe a little more. Or even Depending more, on which Depending on the restaurant. Going. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, you know. So I don't think it's as exorbitant and as ridiculous as people are pointing it out to be. But you know, I, I, sorry, yeah. I just got it, you know, because they said they took many ideas and Chris was saying that he talked about ideas. And I'm just thinking what, what would be really exciting is imagine you're in that restaurant and like in Tokyo, there's a restaurant where suddenly there's a ninja attack. And then the and then they turn into you don't magician. want that kind of stuff on a plane. No, I'm just no, but it, you're in a is, restaurant. This is terrorism, talking, ninja yeah, attack that, on a I mean, plane I'm not saying with that. the brand of Singapore Airlines. But, but okay, thinking, Chris, I think it's time for you to jump in no, right but, now. No, and, I'm saying and enhance please, yeah. the experience. Yeah, this is a good time to enhance the experience, yes. and I'm very excited. Uh, about yes, it. yes, I can see it, you yeah, are, but yeah. no ninja attacks on planes, please. A terrorist uh, simulation, Chris? No, please. Okay, I'm. How about some belly dancing? I didn't do this one. Oh, yes, yes. This we one forgot I about the <laughs> we forgot about the roulette tables. No, we brought that up the last time around, and, and we know that that's not good possible good. Okay. because of turbulence, yeah. right? No, so but now no turbulence, babes. Yeah. You're down on the ground. You're a restaurant, remember? Chris. Okay, Chris. Mm. Rescue me. <laughs> okay. Y'all don't feel. I feel for Singapore Airlines, okay? Yeah, no, no, I we do it. too, but no ninja attacks and roulette tables, okay. please. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay, I, I, I. I, let's put it this way. I, I suppose as in any business, right? Uh, any F&B business. If you set up a menu that the way SQ would set it up uh, and, and, and with what they're offering in the 10-course meal and all that, and we know it's going to be exquisite because it is the best airline in the world. Yes. Um, yes. We know that they're not going to spare any expense themselves in making sure that, that the quality is going to be va 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 voom, right? Um, yes, the argument could be that you could also go to any fine dining restaurant and, or establishments like, as such and enjoy their quality and value of food, sure, and service. But it's not for everyone, mm -hmm. you know, and people, detractors uh, who who probably, you know, flaming them yes, about this yes, idea, yes, yes. right? I mean, initially, okay, we were guilty of it as well. This flight to Flights to nowhere is rubbish, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We rubbished it. Yeah. 
Now they pivoted, they, they, they've come up with new ideas. And I think it's wrong now for anyone to flame our national carrier. Mm -hmm. I think we, uh, people do that. Yes. You don't belong to that marketplace then. Yeah. You know, you're not, that you, maybe you might feel like I'm not so atas. Okay, yes. then you're not atas. Yeah, There's exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like having right? a nice restaurant. Like, I won't do it. Yeah. I'm not going to pay $498 yeah. to do yeah. it because it's yeah. just not in my blood. Yeah. Yeah. Not that but I if won't. It's a birthday special party. Not that I don't, I've never had opportunities like that before. Yeah. I've had, yeah. you know, yeah. I've dined in six star hotels, invited to dine in the chef's table in the kitchen mm -hmm. of the hotel. Mm -hmm. I've done yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but. It, it's just not in my DNA yes, to yes, say, oh, yeah, well, I'm yeah, just going to yeah. go, and, go and do this. But yeah. for, for many people, but there are people, yes. just like your friend, who loves to fly yeah. because he's so yeah. used to it. Yeah. There are also people who love to fine dine. Yes. But, and, and they might... They, they, I need to go don't finish talk, it. Well, I, I will tell you something. Okay, so, no, no, you finish you know, it. Yeah, finish yeah. it. I said, you keep it quiet. Some thoughts that... No, 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 go ahead. I'm not interrupting. I'm like no, I'm child. not interrupting. Yeah. I'm just yeah. thinking. Chris, stand against the wall. You're meant to be seen, think, not think. heard. Yeah, okay. No. So, um, so, but I, I think what really irks me the most would be people whom I've seen comment about, oh, now you're not so atas anymore, right? Now you're going to come and beg yeah. us, right? Yes, yes. Before exactly. when you were doing so well, you're so atas, huh? Yeah. Now you have to come and beg us. I mean, what's wrong with you, man? Exactly, exactly. It's <laughs> stupid, it's juvenile, it's, it's vindictive. It's damn dumb. Yeah. <laughs> you Be know. Because why? Because look, look, this is our national carrier. This yes. bears our country's name. Yes, yes. Yeah? It's nothing to do with politics. Exactly. It's got nothing to do with party. Exactly. Yeah. It is Singapore Exactly. Airlines. Exactly. Yes. And you know, Chris, I have to really jump in on that point because I so agree with you. I'm going to bring up something there. There are many people out there, and I've noticed this especially online, who are unable to differentiate between the political parties and Singapore. You know, you don't have to like, for example, the incumbent government. You can hate them. That's fine. It's your prerogative. But don't conflate the two because there are people who feel they need to tear down anything that is institutional Singapore yes. because they don't like the PAP. You know, and you see this all the time. We cannot I, politicize I just, everything. Yes, you know? exactly. I, Do not I, politicize. Correct. But yeah. I, I feel that it is good, in fact, that there are always some people who bring everything down because then there are the others, the likes of us, who understand that you're a small minority, you can keep talking about these things, but with our encouragement, with our support, our airline will fly you know, the skies again. Yeah, you, but these you people... feel so strongly yeah. for that. But i got to tell you guys something that happened. Now that we're talking, it just jogged my memory. Last two weekends ago, uh, we were, my family and I, we were at uh, T3, Terminal 3, and we went there for a nice lunch. Really, it was a great lunch. And you know what? When I walked into Changi Airport, into that terminal, mm -hmm. and just remembering not long ago, months back, I, we were there and we were flying off to Scandinavia for a darn mm -hmm. long holiday. Yes, yes. And, and we were, when I walked into the terminal, man, I literally, I literally felt tears were about to come yeah. down my yeah. face. Mm. Breaks, I've yeah. never seen so quiet. Oh gosh! Wow. You know, reached a stage where I, I actually posted it on my on my Facebook page, mm. and, and I said that if anyone these days required to find some amount of solace in solitude, go to Chinatown <laughs> Airport. Mm. Yeah, mm. you said it's really dead. And then guess what? I went over, and I'm going to say this on camera, I went over for a cigarette mm. outside of the mm. airport and mm. the yellow box. And there was one gentleman there. And obviously, he was dressed in cabin crew uniform. SQ. Mm. It's an air steward. So I, I struck up a short con conversation mm. and I said, are you here to fly? <laughs> yes, I am. I said, have you been doing this regularly? It's my first flight. Yeah. I said, I'm, I, and I actually said this, and I said, congratulations, yeah. and, and I'm very happy for you. Yeah. He said, I am so happy he said, yeah, to, yeah. To, to do this. So where are you going? I'm heading to Japan. So this is a turnaround? Nine hour turnaround? Yeah, nine hour there, nine hour back. Mm -hmm. Turnaround, it's going to be long and tiring, but it's going to be worth it. And I said, you know what? I'm so happy for you. Yeah. And I, I and don't worry, okay, stick it out. Yeah. And then you should see his eyes, man. Wow. He was welling up. Wow. 
Well, you know, and I said, yeah. and I told him, SQ won't die. Yeah, exactly. No, and I think, God, no. yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. But you know, there are other airlines that are dying. You know, and it is definitely in Singapore's interest to protect Singapore yes. Airlines and this. So you know, on that note, again, I think it's so important to reiterate: do not confuse Singapore with the government of Singapore. Yes. You know, I'll never forget that when COVID first broke out, I saw people commenting online that I hope the cases get really, really bad. This will be one way to bring down the PAP. And I thought that is such a shameful thing. No but matter what your selfish, political, it's, just it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Where do you guys you know? read all this? On Facebook. It's, it's on Facebook. Just, it's just this yeah. Facebook it's that just y'all have. The vitriol. Yeah. Because it's, I just, yeah. maybe I'm just lucky for yeah. some reason. No, I, you got to go to the social political sites because that's where people are commenting. No, then, and even on the Straits Times and CNA sites, you see these kinds of comments. But that's the point that yes. there are people out there like that. And these True. people need to be ashamed of themselves. And, you know, you, 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 I'll give an example again of what's happening in the US, right? I mean, there are a lot of people who do not like Donald Trump, but they love the, the, the country. And that's the way that we need to be. Yes. You know, do not conflate, do not confuse Singapore and the institutions of Singapore with the government. Whatever your feelings are, whether you like the Workers' Party, whether you like the PP, or whatever you like, it's fine. You know, that's the wonderful thing about democracy. But do not hate Singapore and do not try to bring down Singapore. It is Singapore first. Yeah, exactly. It is your country. It's your country. We are Singaporeans. Yeah. Okay, it is not about the politics. It is we about this Singapore. nation yep. that yep. we have rooted ourselves Singapore. in. Absolutely. Okay. You know, we're in all in this together, really. Yeah, you know? and you we so. don't believe me, for the benefit and sake of our economy <laughs> and your livelihoods, you yeah. cannot afford, we cannot afford to see SIA fall. Yes. Actually, uh, exactly. right now, I you know. feel. As though I'm, you know, that election podium used to be there. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm the spectator. <laughs> and you have these two people. No, who are we're, not we're from just any standing in the yeah, It's not politics. It's not politics. Like, it's not politics. Hey, hey. We're trying to tell people yeah, it's not but politics. I, I, Exactly. I don't know. Maybe I read different sites. Okay, well, I'll be happy to share this with you if you, you know, want to take a look at it. But we'll just get your blood pressure but up. But that so $100 that's... of mine is going for half a meal to taste the satay in mm. uh, the business class. Okay. So I'm going there with All right. my $100. So, the, so anyway, we've been talking about this. Flights to Nowhere is yeah. gone. Great. Yes. I think it's a great idea what SQ is trying to do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it's for the people who yes. can... Who, Go who, SQ. Who, who enjoy these sort of yes. treatments. Yes. And uh, if, exactly. If you like to do it, by all means, please keep our airline alive. Yes. But now we talk about something else that goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. And those are the cruises to nowhere. Daisy, do you want to tell us... Uh, <laughs> more about that. Have you been well, on these cruises, Daisy? Uh, yes, I've been to nowhere. I have. I was. Been to I have. I was. Uh, we, Virgo, is it? No. Yes. Aries, Virgo. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did that. We, man. we yeah. had the opportunity to film uh, under one roof there. So oh really? Those days, you know the Star Cruise. Yes, yeah, Star uh, Cruise. So the episode right. was called "Under One Roof, Inside One Cabin." Uh, okay. Not in the cabin. Under the stars. Uh, under the stars. <laughs> yes. How wonderful is that? So I remember that. And then, of course, we had also gone on a corporate, you know, they do the training and they go to this cruise to nowhere. But one thing I remember was the food. The buffet. There was always food, food. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not talking about the quality because we yes. just talked about SIA. But, you know, I'm just wondering, this cruise to nowhere, I mean, it's huge. There at least thousand over people more than that two thousand over people so when you do your social distancing or when you do your 50 percent even then if you come to the deck it's going to look as you're walking into a mall now they haven't exactly told us what their uh, prevention methods are yes, going to yes, be yes. And social but i do feel that as long as there's a plan that you don't cram the buffet line and you run or how you manage to social distance in the pool or things like that just like any yeah, other well, business. Well, you know, I think obviously no, if like you look at it... Just like any other business, you want it to start again. Yes, yes. I, I feel The cruise it. industry has been so, so badly, badly battered. Yeah, yes, because it yes. really is like an incubator, you know. People are all inside there. So I'm interested because what they say is that they are still working out the safety procedures. Yeah. And uh, my, my, I'm just wondering, they're going to be obviously sailing into international waters, but they're still a Singapore, under the Singapore government law here. And, uh, registered. And that's registered that's here. That's the yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I yeah. need to tell you, and that... There is no two ways about it because everybody goes to the casino mm -hmm. on that cruise to nowhere. 
That is official. Not they don't me have though. to. No, I, I mean we went there and yeah, I don't people either. are gambling I don't till three o'clock, four o'clock in oh, yeah. the morning, yeah. and and it's a big attraction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is. So again, is you know, they have attraction. to figure out how to to do this. But you know, it's interesting. I I just hope that the cruise industry recovers, um, and when things yeah, but, get better and get but soon, you, but guys, not but, to be an incubator. But guys, you know, um, I, I heard what Daisy said. I wasn't thinking about that angle, though. Now that, but now that she's mentioned that, I, it, it made me think otherwise. Uh, you know, now I'm, on, I'm two minds about this whole thing. Yes, of course, we want, we want uh, 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 things to recover. We want industries to get better, including them, mm -hmm. right? The cruise industry. I suppose for the travel business as well, we would want things to also, you know, do better and recover fast. And, uh, and, uh, hmm. okay. And so what were you two minds about? Okay. Uh, what I'm two minds about would, is this, there's no vaccine yet. And we're going to, and people go on board and they get stuck like in a sardine can. I mean, I was, I've been on these cruises. I've been on a uh, recent, as recent as uh, late last year I, in, in, in Norway. Uh, I was on board a cruise as well for overnight, stuck in a small little tiny cabin. I mean, it's claustrophobic as hell. <laughs> and, and, and I can just imagine how that recycled air conditioning, you know, it's going to be having all, if there's going to be any vi virus on board. Yeah, I mean, yeah, personally, yeah, for yeah. me, I, I wouldn't go. But there will be people just yes. much like, you know, uh, people who want to fly, yeah, right? Yeah. Want to fly again. Yeah. A lot of people are, have pent up uh, uh, are pent up. Yes. And pent up everything. Yeah. And <laughs> pent up everything. Okay. Which yeah. will lead to I, the uh, next uh, topic wait, wait, we're no, going to talk yet, about. Not yet. I have, wait, let me finish this. <laughs> I but know, yeah. There'll be people who will be dying to just get out yes, yes. off the shores. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And just, just get leave away. Singapore. I yeah. think it's and the good food. Up. The food is a hell of a proposition. I no, 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 no. It's yeah. not. But I think it's a good it's opportunity no. for free trips for the safe distancing ambassadors, because you'll need loads of those. And they can all go there and make sure like they that, go on the cruise. No, that just adds more people. Yeah, like they need to have fewer no, but people there. People have to be innovative don't and start opening this. businesses, you know. If you keep waiting for a vaccine, if well, I'm going to go on a vacation step. and have yeah. some people breathing down my damn neck, no, I'd rather stay at home. I think that, okay, obviously the number of people are going to be a lot less. It's going to of be a course. lot less, fewer, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. and that would help. And also you think about it, being outdoors on a cruise is actually a safe place to be rather than being indoors. So out, yeah, you but know, you're not, you're not out, going to be outdoors all the time. All the time, exactly. No, but you yeah. see, in the beginning when COVID-19 started, the whole cruise getting stuck and, you know, they weren't yeah, yeah, accepted yeah. into any countries. That has also set that kind of uh, idea in our mind yeah. that it's very but terrifying. What, what, to what be if, let's say, they, they mandated to... that each person going on a cruise had to be tested first? So at least you'll know, you know yes. that everybody yes. on that ship has tested. And and then, sure. When they I'm disembark, sure. when they disembark, test again. Yeah. yeah. But you, you, but can, you remember but, that story you know. we had? Where they went on the ship, I mean that cruise, and they were tested first. And once they went, and when they went, there was yet COVID. So it's a double-edged sword. Let people decide. Yeah. But businesses have to start. That's yeah. all. Okay. So now we can move on to your next story. Okay, Mr. Gilbert Chia, it's all yours. Uh, what are we talking about here? Um, the, par the parliament motion that was drawn. Okay, all right. So this is something which has been making a lot of news because... Mm -hmm. um, Sylvia Lim, uh, the, 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 the very um, uh, esteemed uh, member of the opposition, um, had put a motion to speak on um, enhancing equity in Singapore's criminal justice system mm. in the next parliamentary sitting. Um, instead, um, Tan Juan Jin, who's the Speaker of Parliament, chose MP Lewis Ng to speak on protection against secondhand smoke in the home instead of Sylvia's thing. So there's a couple of things here we, we, which we want to talk about. Let, let me first, I just did some research and just to clarify what an adjournment motion is, all right? An adjournment motion is when a backbencher wants to speak on something at the end of a parliamentary session before it is adjourned. The backbencher MP speaks for 20 minutes, then the minister replies for 10 minutes, and that's it basically. So no other MPs can speak. So uh, my feeling is that if this is an important issue, and I certainly think it is, 
it should not just be an adjournment motion. It should be something that she should table for a full discussion in Parliament. Uh, have a full debate, put it in a full motion. Then you can have uh, every MP can speak, question, and debate this. Um, and it is an important enough subject to, 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 to speak about. So, you know, I, I generally, the, the adjournment motions tend to be less weighty topics because it is of a, a very restricted format. Um, I'm all for the discussion in Parliament, and I'm all for both subjects, both about the equity and the fairness in the Parliament, uh, sorry, in, in the judicial system uh, and um, justice system, and also about this whole issue about smoking in the home. I don't want to invite you to my house today. Okay, so let's talk about this because this is interesting, all right? Uh, can a person smoke in their own house? Should they smoke in their own house? Because the reason this came up is because there were people who wrote in about how they were suffering from secondhand smoke coming from the neighbors. And, you know, we 80% of Singapore lives in public housing where we are stacked on top of each other. We're in very close motion. Um, so personally, I myself have experienced intense secondhand smoke because for a very long time, there was an uncle, and I knew it was uncle because I heard him coughing all the time. He coughed and he hacked, and it was actually very frightening to hear how much he coughed and hacked. He was obviously an old man, but I had a constant stream of secondhand smoke to the point where I couldn't open one particular section of my house, mm. uh, my flat, because the smoke was so bad, and it came at all hours. He, he would be in the toilet smoking soon. My toilet would get the smoke. He'd be in the bedroom smoking in it, the kitchen, you know. So you, you can follow his movements by where the mm -hmm. smoke was, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't heard him cough or, or hack or smell smoke for a while. So, you know, God just, rest his soul wherever he is. I just want to yeah. say this. Hmm. I'm a smoker. Yes, yes. When I read something like this, you know what I feel? Mm -hmm. As most smokers feel. You want to quit? No. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it yeah. makes people, and it's true, a lot of my smoker friends, and I got lots of them, also feel the same. I don't want to quit because you know why? The more you want to screw us around, the more we'll do it. Well, wait, wait, I wait, mean, wait, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't do yeah. a Trump on me. <laughs> don't do a Trump on Biden on me. Let me just finish this. That being said, I also like to unequivocally state that a lot of smokers are actually rather considerate. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if it's going to be in our blue heaven where we live, our homes, mm -hmm. because some joker upstairs, downstairs, left, right, and center, you know, clowns on the left of me, jokers on the right, here I'm stuck in the middle of you, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about you guys, though, I'm in the middle today. Yes, yes, that's but, a nice song. Yeah, it's a nice song. You know it's a song. Good. Yes, it's a song. Yes, it's a yes. song. I, I would tell you, this is a neighbor issue. Mm. And I've said this before. When I had my management knocking on my door, asking me, you know, uh, if I flick my ash outside of my balcony, which I don't. Mm. I said, I've got multiple ashtrays on my balcony. Okay? And certainly not. You can mm. come and take a look at how, you mm. know, the, I haven't there. cleared last night's yet. You know? But if, tell my neighbor, the one who called, that if he is upset or disturbed by this, he's most welcome mm. to knock on my door. And I'll be friendly enough to listen to his sure. grievance, right? But if there's anyone else flicking the ashes, definitely not me. Sure. But what I'm saying is that we should learn to live and let live and learn to live with each other mm -hmm. and talk to each other, not fight, talk with each other and come to an, an understanding. Mm -hmm. Instead of every damn thing must become law. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is mad. Yes. Okay. We are so in such a nanny state. It's yes, got to yes. stop. Okay. So first of all, I do not at all advocate banning smoking people from smoking in their own homes. Even though I suffered from it, never did I think to myself that I wish that there was a law about this. Okay. So thank you. I'm with you, you can on not that come point. To my house for dinner. No, no. So I'm with you on that point. But I do want to point out that, they are, you know, Singapore, again, is an Asian country, and Asians tend to be either passive or passive-aggressive. Very few people actually dare go and knock on the neighbor's door to ask for anything. Then okay? they run Even to the government noise. to do yes. this? Yes, obviously. But, you know, it's not just government. They do this all the time wow. in every other sub situation. Grow some, man. I no, grow some. Yeah. I, I, because they do meet with aggression as I, well. Go ahead. 
point of view. Okay. Okay. So first of all, starting with what you said about the agenda and the adjournment, I think maybe it was a blessing in disguise that uh, this party Liani case discussion will take place later mm -hmm. because we are aware that the AG's office and the police and mm -hmm. everybody is investigating. So maybe this was a bit premature. Mm. So it would be nicer after the investigations are conducted. And not as an adjournment motion, which is yeah. very restricted. Correct. So yes. I agree with that. And and I'm waiting with abated breath what comes out of those investigations mm -hmm. so that we get a yes. proper answer. Yes. yes. Now, as for the smoking thing, mm. I agree with both of you. Mm. Yes, uh, you know, it's about a neighbor thing. But I just want to say, I remember in the 70s, especially in the 70s and the 80s, how, you know, those Marlboro ads and how cool they used to show that, you know, smoking was mm -hmm. and, 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 and it was really amazing. Everybody, especially in university and all, used to look at smoking like you've really come. You know, yeah, but that was terrible. Correct. And now, yeah. as time has passed, we have truly, truly realized what an unhealthy habit it yes. is. So now, yes. we agree it is unhealthy. Yes. Not to say have anything against smokers, but I think the smokers themselves agree yes. that yes, yes, it is a health. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, if you are at home, and I agree with you, Gilbert, and I agree with you that one doesn't want to be have a law saying mm -hmm, you can't mm -hmm. smoke yes, it. Yes, yes. But having said that, when you're in your own home and you make a choice about maybe it's a wrong choice, but you're endangering your family or you're, you know, doing mm -hmm, it in mm -hmm. your own home. Mm -hmm. But, but if you're in the balcony or if you're in a place where it could endanger others, and I'm not only talking smoking is something that we're talking about now. Mm -hmm. We've talked about music, loud blast music. Mm -hmm, we are mm -hmm. talking about other areas. Mm -hmm. The point being that if people don't understand and are not caring enough to realize what kind of problems they could possibly give their neighbors or their neighbors' children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's when nanny state, yeah. that's when laws come in. Because you know, the and, thing and, is, Chris, you you're no choice, a considerate you guy, but I know a lot of people who are not considerate. Correct. Not just do? about smoking. Let me tell you why, yeah. why, why I'm so fed up. Mm. You say Singaporeans are either pa Asians, Asians, mm are either passive or passive-aggressive. Mm -hmm. Then there's this thing called stomp. And then you're right, the passive-aggressive, yeah. the passive-aggressive ones take a damn picture of you. Yes. And even if you're not guilty in any yes, whatever context, yes, 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 it'll yes. make you look like crap. Yes, now, exactly. Wait, 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 let me finish. So, assuming on a hypothesis that this comes through, my own damn home, I can't light up. Hypothetically. I don't think wait, they'll wait, do wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. That's what I'm saying, hypothetically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, somehow, people, you know, I tell you, people are like that. They see these kind of laws come up, all the cameras on the radio. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. People behave that way. But that's terrible, though. You know, and then, you know, the worst part is, okay, we're already cloistered to yellow box. Now, most places no longer have yellow boxes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I think that's it is? true. Is very, you know, a lot of people who watch this, I can tell you, I know I hate about some non-smokers. Mm. Those fellas who want to behave as if they told them self-righteous mm -hmm. and atas as hell will just go, yeah, so we better quit, huh? Yes. It's back for hell. But you anyway, know, you see this... You know, the point is, is that, look, it is still someone's matter of choice. Mm -hmm. I am, I, 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 it's not a crime. Yeah. And now they're going to make it sound like criminal. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. And, and then people in society will take it to that extreme. No, yeah, no. because you see the it's, same thing happening no, with the mask. You're absolutely right. Yeah. It is your choice it as a smoker. It is about that no, that me irks me. But, yeah. but no, it is your choice. It's only about being socially responsible where others are concerned. So yes, go with it. Sit in your room, smoke where it is, you know, the areas are. Mm. But now we are talking about just being socially responsible, like a mask. I mean, yeah, but you know, these capos know, who like to take photographs of people and post online, you see them doing it, even the mask, these vigilantes, right? We, 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 we still have these people around, you know. So, so that's if they not- weren't there, Okay, so I'm just going to think of the other, uh, like, mm, the devil's advocate. Mm. So, yes, it is your choice. I but would where say social that it, responsibility no, is concerned... No, I would say where neighborliness choice. is concerned. The other party who's unhappy about it can always ding-dong on anyone's bell and say, guys, 
could, like, can we just come or, back? Or, or you know, know if they want to no. no, they don't. No, no, no. Let me ask Gilbert. You had uncle who was hacking away mm-hmm. and sending smoke your way. Mm-hmm. Just let tell us, share with us, what did you do? I just closed my windows. It? I didn't so do anything. did you go and ding dong? No, simply because I knew it was a lifelong habit and there was nothing he could do about it. But you know, I'll tell you this, all right? For those Singaporeans out there who feel as if like they are being irked by someone else's smoking and they do not want to go and ding dong and talk to the neighbor, I would urge them maybe you can just write a note. Yes. And slip it under the door. Exactly. A polite note Did to say you? that. No, because. So you learned from that lesson. That no, there's nothing have, to learn. But just listen. No, if I wanted to, I you would have. You decided to tolerate. I tolerated it. That's all. Fine. Right. Yeah. So, so we are looking at different ways, right? You could tolerate. Mm-hmm. You could turn around and try. Because I know there was a case, for example, where they were blasting so much, mu- so much music and it was so loud. And after continuous complaints from the neighbor, when they didn't bring it down, again, law had to step in. Yeah. So we're not looking at the nanny being there right from the beginning. I'm sorry, but, but I have to repeat this thing that I mentioned. I mentioned about this. You no, know, I have to stop you there because you brought in music. And let me tell you about how people in society love to just call pay, call boo. Mm. Hey, you have, you have a word. bar with a, with a band mm. on the East Coast Park. I mentioned this in my other show. Hey, on the East Coast Park, right? And then separated by the East Coast Park Expressway. Mm-hmm. And then you have the residential areas, mm-hmm. yeah, which yeah, are the yeah, HDB yeah, flats. Yeah, yeah. How could you possibly complain about noise of the band inside that place on East Coast Park, separated by a damn white, huge expressway mm. where you hear more motorway noise mm. than you could the music and they call the cops. Mm. Tell me about that. Because okay. every damn thing now, people are so ultra sensitive. They will pick up the phone and they will complain. They will take a camera on the fr- freaking phones, take a picture and complain. Okay, so I'll tell you this. Okay. You know, this is a fine, thin no, no, no. line okay. that you're drawing okay. here, Daisy. So, yeah, no, yeah. No. so the issue now, we are going away from that issue. We are talking now but you about brought it up. how we are talking about Singaporeans and how sensitive they are okay. getting. Yes. Yeah. I'll shot. tell you this. I'll tell you this. Being socially responsible or caring for your neighbor. It is it's, it is a two way thing. Yeah. Obviously, the I people who are playing music, or the people who are smoking, or the people who are naked in their homes. Uh-huh. All right. Yes. No, I can't walk around on my dingling in my own home. You can. Okay. Yeah, I gotta cover my dingling. But you can't traumatize your neighbor. Okay. Let me just take this, okay? Absolutely. You might be surprised. My neighbor might be thanking me. Uh, maybe, but then the neighbor has a choice. The neighbor can pick up the phone and say, Allah, ma, what is happening? Okay, oh, for ding those ding of you out there who have no ding idea ding what they're talking about, yeah. the point is, is that there's another law in Singapore that, and, and, and as far as I know, Singapore is the only country in the world that makes it illegal for you to be naked in your own house. <laughs> if, and it's true. It is illegal to be naked in your own house if you are in public view. And the reason this yeah. happened was because there was these men who liked to walk in front of their windows naked and then their outraged neighbours, after looking and looking and looking, Looking, decided to call the police. You know something. You really looking and looking and looking. Were they traumatized or enjoying it? Fascinated? I don't know. Fascinated. But do you think? You know, I have this to say, right? Let's remember that episode we had where they talked about the uncle auntie doing it in the yeah, yes. parking yes, lot. In the park. and, right, and the guy who yes. recorded it. In a, yes. you know, like, yeah. And then we said, oh, you are the bloody beeping, beeping Tom here, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Right? What were you doing staring to someone else's house? Yeah, exactly. So you if know? you're staring at someone in their own house who's walking around naked or whatever it is, you know what you can do? You can just draw your curtains and go to your kitchen what and stop staring. if your curtains in the wash? <laughs> <laughs> and you still need to bathe and change. So what if your curtains are in the bloody wash? No, no. The neighbor who is looking at it can draw her own curtains and not look into Precisely. her neighbor's eyes. I, I, I you know. Yes. That either Singapore is becoming very repressed because it seems like every week we are here talking about upstart, you know, taking yes. videos Let me just finish. Yes, yes. One, one thought here, okay, which is very important. I lived in the US for 20 years and I can tell you that Americans by and large don't complain to the government and to the police about these kinds of things as much as Singaporeans do because you know why? In the US, the police are not as reactive and as, as the police in Singapore. In Singapore, when you call the police and say that my neighbour is naked or my neighbour is smoking or my neighbour is playing loud music, the police will come. 
you know. But you try doing that in New York, for example, you know, they're just yeah, going to ignore because you they, because they, they've got real crimes to deal yeah, so, with so over there. So we are there. quite lucky that yes. way, I must say. Yes, so it's also made us much more of a hypersensitive, oh, pampered yo, country. Oh my goodness, you, you tickle know, them you a little bit, tickle them a bit, they call police. Tickle them a bit, they call police. I just want to Everything say that last week we discussed the disease of uh, stealing the used underwear, right? And we called the it fetish, para, yes. Yeah, yes, the paraphilia. Yes. Yeah. This is also a different kind of paraphilia. You know, we are going to be talking about the masturbation. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. What's that, right. uncle? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Daisy, okay. Daisy, okay. Daisy is kidding. so embarrassed to even say that word. Yeah, what's wrong you with know? you? I'm not embarrassed. I'm just saying. Okay, but this is actually would, a Chris yeah. Hansen story. Correct. Okay, so, Correct. Yes. Oh, no, oh, wow. oh. No, but I, I, I just no. want to say. Your when producer we were put this in our notes. This yeah, is such a good Chris Hansen oh. story. No, Chris, I think we pass it over. Before we talk about the masturbation story, I just want to know why is it a good. Chris Henson story. Oh, Could okay. you please specify? Maybe it's because I got lots of calluses on my hands. I don't know. Oh, please, TMI. All uh, right. Yeah, we were talking about Mrs. Palmer and the five daughters. Get it now? If you I... don't get it, never mind. Get a never life. Never mind. Yes. Okay. I need um, a life, man. I what? didn't get it. Oh, okay. get a life, Daisy. I know. I need. I need to get a life. Okay, uh, there was a there was a lady who uh, received the delivery from a package from a uh, delivery man at uh, at a home and she said okay allegedly that this guy did something that because um this was she Arc saw, at Tampanese yes condominium. she saw the delivery guy masturbating outside her house after the delivery um and she said that she saw the man doing the deed through the doors people what the hell was it Okay, wait, let me get this right. <laughs> Ding dong, I open the door. I take my delivery. Ma'am, yeah. your package yeah, delivery for that. Okay, it's thank you. Sign major. off. Yeah, I take it. I okay. take it. I close the door. Then I peep at a peephole. <laughs> I mean, no. What? But Chris, you didn't see me. I'm in sexy underwear. Mm, huh? Never ah, thought about that. Then? Yeah, maybe. So now uh, see, I open the door. Then the guy, ah. door, okay, okay. Correct. Door, door so, opens. So, I'm the delivery guy. Correct. So I'm going to open the door, okay? Then I give it, I'm going to open the door. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what's happening here. Door closes. <laughs> and then I'm like this. Did I make an impact? Did I make an impact? Hello? Where's my Mrs. Palmer and her five daughters? <laughs> so, so... <laughs> wait, he couldn't just... wait till get home was the woman? I mean, you know, what the hell, you know? There's another fetish. Some people like to do Correct. it outdoors. And but she said different... it was a really traumatizing event. This is the first time that she ever encountered such an incident. Okay. Um, so this is And a then the man kind... touched her shoe rack before leaving. Oh, the poor shoe rack. <laughs> no, not only that. She then took out her phone and she videoed the man doing this through the peephole. Correct. So, <laughs> so I just... No, I just what? want to say... Again, we're looking you know, at increasingly repressed people, okay, and okay. we're also Not looking at people people's who reactions. Yes. Do we? Really it's a bit ones odd. Who are filing it, sending it to Storm, filming the through videos. the people. No, but this is so alleged. There's a lot right? of repression. Yeah. It's of going course still here. alleged, isn't yeah. it? But there's a photo. Right? There's a photo. Where, where, where? I, I didn't get the yeah, photo. You, see, photo? Uh, uh, you can see the I man the there. Photo. You know, he could be just scratching. <laughs> It looks it's like it's a blur. Okay. Anyway. Hey, like that, I scared. Honestly, me. I mean, you, you know, itch outside in public. Please don't scratch. People yeah. might just take a video. But, but doing this that. is a different kind of uh, fetish again, a, a paraphilia. Just to talk, uh, you mentioned that why couldn't he wait to go home? So I mean, you know, um, it is when someone engages oh, in a masturbatory behavior to such an extent that it causes socio occupation dysfunction. It is a different kind, and again, it's a paraphilia. So repressed people, yes. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I, I. I don't know what you know, she was I don't know what to... triggered this guy to doing this. Maybe yeah, the lady. Look, it, again, it's still I alleged. Get... I don't know whether he's really doing it. Looking just looking at the image. Why do we try and get a copy of the video, and then we can we can analyze it for the next show? But. <laughs> You know, well, we should I, ask our producer I, to go and do that <laughs> since he always thinks that I'm the one that I also kind of like think this. that you know okay. these you kinds you of things you didn't tell us why is it a Chris Henson story please do tell <sighs> you tell me I always get ended up all this kind of <laughs> no, stuff but I think that in these kinds of a situation you know it would be easier for the woman to just simply walk away from the door not look into the peephole yeah. and go about her business but what did she yeah. do basically. the peephole for 
What? Well, yeah, exactly. So I'm trying. You just think. We just did the reenactment of you know. Uh, Gilbert, you never said anything events. about our performance. I tried to block it out of my no, mind. I, actually. <laughs> but you do know that we stopped short after the door closed. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, thank yeah. you for and that. I, right. And then I yes. peeped. Yeah. Yes, but then yeah. to peep to anything. see the effect. He's going to get conjunctivitis <laughs> in his <laughs> mind's gotta, eye again. You've got to, yeah. you've got to complete the story, Chris. Go huh? on. No, 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 no. Please, no more. I please. can't. Yes. I've got this calluses in my hands. Yes. It just won't go away. <laughs> okay. So honestly, you know, I think that if any of you uh, out there do encounter a situation like this, I would just say just ignore it because no. very often people. I won't. I'll open the door. And go. <laughs> There but you if you open the door to take the package, maybe he wouldn't be. Yeah, he wouldn't there. be doing that. If it was a woman and then she opened the door, <laughs> I then she would say, "Oh, I can I see don't my neck." Feel worked. insulted or to feel complimented. <laughs> complimented, Thanks complimented, so much. because yeah. you're gonna look tough and handsome. No, but get this, all right. So this 28 year old man was arrested for oh. being a public nuisance, mm. all right? Um, you know, people, uh, if you are going to be doing this, just don't do this. Um, and <laughs> if you are going to be doing this. Yeah. Do it at home and, is what you're saying. Yeah, and and do it at home. You can't. And say if, don't and, do and this. for the and for the people who encounter people doing this, it's easier for you to actually just walk away. Don't look through the peephole, than to actually take out your camera, how film you it through fi- the peephole. No, but how do you, f- you can film through the peephole? I apparently, I mean, you know, she she did this. And then to go and upload it and complain and all of that. Yeah, just yeah. tell them you stop spanking a monkey. But let's say, yes. let's say, okay, so let's say you, you for one moment you're thinking that you're being a good citizen, that this is not the kind of thing that should be allowed because in this case, let's say you're doing this outside and there's some young girls passing by mm-hmm. or some, you know, uh, children going to be running around there and they see this. They could truly be traumatized. I'm not sure about how old this lady sure, was. Sure, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone so her is point of advocating is, or, yeah. or, or, or sanctioning something like that. But, yeah. um, but she had to know. prove but, it. It just does kind of remind me of another incident that is that shows the kind of mentality of some people. Uh, there was, I think it was a banana peel that was on the floor by, a flat, by, by the lift, all right? Um, several residents uh, filmed and photographed the banana peel and sent it to the MP. Oh my! But nobody God. picked it up. No one picked it up, and the MP <laughs> got several photos of the banana peel. And this really again goes back to the whole issue of how we up, think. Really? Yeah. See, you know, that's why well, we I don't like Singaporeans laws like that. Yes. Yes. Because we the way people, people work yes. is no, no. But exactly. we three are Singaporeans. Yes. And we. We don't think like this. No, but obviously what? there's a whole multiplicity of Correct. people yeah. out there. So there you know. are it's people like that, but there are enough of people like us. It is not about Singaporeans optimistic. or yeah, not. Yeah, exactly. it's, just it's, just it's just idiocy. It. It's just idiocy. And they're going to always be idiots. And I the agree. point yeah. basically is for us to I call agree. out this kind of idiocy and to tell people, you know. It's just so. that most of, the, most of the population will be Singaporeans. Right? And more yeah, often than yeah, not, yeah. it'll be Singaporeans who will be doing this sort yes, of thing. Exactly. Yes. Is that because we are here in Singapore? Oh so. my goodness me. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. <laughs> we're so. going to explain to what population means. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. we're going to end the show now. We're going to end the show now. So uh, Gilbert's going to end the show, actually. You're going to have the last say today. So we're going to have Daisy to start on her closing. What does Omakayam think of public masturbation? Okay. <laughs> I looked around and not Omar Khayyam and not Khalil Gibran. Well, I... But... But, you know, I personally do feel sad when we talk about these stories. I do. The repression, the stealing of underwear, this. I, I, I believe and I know it's a sickness. And where's this line when it stops being a sickness and, and get it treated or where you just feel that? And maybe, just maybe, when people call it out, it might just help you to go and find recourse or mm-hmm, go and find mm-hmm. help. So anyway, I'm going to just take, uh, go through a quote by Louis de Bernier, who is a writer, a philosopher, and uh, just so that you all enjoy it more than my Khalil and my <laughs> Omar. Omar. No one is only one thing. No one is only one thing. Inside one person, there are so many different people. And quite often, they are at war with each other. And sometimes one of them is winning, and sometimes another. We are all so hard to understand, aren't we? Sometimes 
I don't even understand myself. Very so I just IMH. feel, yeah. No, but I just feel that these people who go through this, I mean, they must be going through so much, you know. Conflict. But, yeah. yeah. But that that's just the way. And I want to end with just saying that I hope they get help. And I hope every time we come, every week we come up with a repressed story, uh, you know, things get better. Yes. I, I want to end. I want to end the show uh, quoting uh, something for this delivery guy who was caught doing the do with Mrs. Palmer and his five daughters, um, and 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 I just changed a, just a word in in the entire this excerpt oh, okay. from this song from Diana Ross. Okay. Oh. And it goes something like this, and it goes out to this guy. Touch me in the morning. Then. Just walk away. You don't have tomorrow, but you did have yesterday. <laughs> hey, wasn't it me who said that nothing's nothing good's gonna last forever? <laughs> okay. 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 Diana on, Ross. On that note. Um, my closing thoughts are addressed to the my fellow Singaporeans who are unable to distinguish between Singapore, the country that we love, and the government that we may not always love, or that you may love, or the opposition parties. Separate the politics from the country. Uh, you can still love Singapore and support Singapore and want it to do well rather than wishing it ill, uh, regardless of your politics. And I know that sounds like a really simple and basic thing, but I'm just astounded by the number of people who are unable to make a difference here. Um, we want Singapore to be stronger and better. And that starts with each of us. So do your part, be safe, and be kind. And join us on another episode next week. But in the meantime, please do like and comment and subscribe and tell your friends about us. Yes. Because we're fun and enlightening. <laughs> That's it. Thank you guys we very are. much. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. And we'll scold you if you're bad. <laughs> yeah. And you didn't say your usual thing. Stay safe. I did. You did? I did. Be yes. kind. Yes. Be kind. Okay. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. And keep it in your pants. <laughs>